Why is the notion of blood sacrifices so significant in Scripture? This is a question that warrants a deep dive into the annals of biblical history. In the beginning, in the book of Genesis, we find Abel offering a lamb by faith to God, a blood sacrifice that was accepted. His brother Cain, however, chose to offer a bloodless fruit offering, which was rejected. From the onset we witness the intrinsic value of blood in the act of sacrifice for atonement. Fast forward to the era of the Hebrews in Egypt. When the angel of death swept over the land, it was the blood of a lamb, painted on their doorposts, that saved them from the plague. A pure, unblemished lamb was slain, its lifeblood becoming the redemption for the Hebrews. It was an act of innocence, sacrificed for protection. Prophets of old spoke of a coming Messiah, an innocent one who would be led like a lamb to the slaughter. His piercing would result in a fountain of blood, cleansing the world of sin. His life would be offered up, bearing the sins of humanity. The prophecies assured that the anointed one's sacrificial death would lead to the righteousness of many. Jesus, at the Last Supper, declared that the prophecies were about him. He said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. His crucifixion the following day fulfilled the prophecy of Psalms 22, a soldier's spear releasing blood and water from his side. The Lamb of God had made the ultimate sacrifice, his blood shed for the redemption of humanity. The apostles taught that salvation through Christ's blood is attained not merely through faith, but through the act of baptism into his death. As Peter urged, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. This baptism, as Paul echoed, is a union in the likeness of Christ's death. Through baptism, we participate by faith in his death and resurrection and his atoning blood is applied to our lives. The Lord's Supper serves as a reminder of Jesus' sacrifice, His broken body, and the blood He shed. By partaking in this meal, we proclaim His death until He returns, connecting us to the altar of Calvary, where the Lamb was slain, to set us free. The book of Hebrews cautions against disregarding the sanctifying blood of the Son of God. To reject His sacrifice is to reject the only means of cleansing from sin and attaining eternal life. The sacred, innocent blood spilt at Calvary is what justifies and redeems every willing heart. From the shadows of the Old Testament to the fulfillment in the New Testament, the power of the blood remains central, revealing God's extraordinary love for humanity. The blood of Jesus Christ remains as significant today as the day it flowed from the cross. As followers of Christ, we must remember the high cost of our salvation during the Lord's Supper, cling to the hope bought by His blood when we stumble and need forgiveness share the good news of redemption through His blood, and live in the freedom and spiritual life that Jesus' blood provides by staying faithful to God's calling every day. The blood of the spotless Lamb is the thread that binds all of Scripture and all the redeemed together under God's extraordinary love.